Hi, I'm Anthony Arjues, and I developed a add-on for Blender this weekend that is meant to be the Blender side of the workflow for FSpy. So if you're not familiar with FSpy, go check it out. There's lots of tutorials for it. It's really cool. It um, will take an image, let you align where the axes should be, and then you can import the image with a camera into Blender in order to model things. I took this picture from my webcam and it let me model all the stuff behind me so that I could play with it in real images. Um, you can't see the, the projected background anymore, but we'll go ahead and show that in another FSpy project real quick. Um, so when you do create all of these objects from your image, there's a very repetitive process in order to get the texture applied to them from the, uh, from the FSpy project. So that's what I automated. Project. All right, default project. Go ahead and import my FSpy project. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to do some very basic geometry here in order to show the effect. Uh, not really going for matching the environment. That's good enough for the, for the demo. So once you have the objects, you want to be able to take the image and project it onto them, uh, but the, sorry, I'm gonna make the effect on this look a little better here. Um, but it's a repetitive process and uh, I wanted to automate it, especially for having multiple objects, uh, like the last pic, the last scene that I showed. So I'm going to switch over into this material view. I'm going to select both of the objects that I want to do this to. You can select as many as you want. I put the um, I put the little add-on inside of the in menu. It's called Mappy, and you just click the button, and it will take all of the, it'll take the image, it'll create a texture for each of the objects. Um, it'll add the modifiers that are recommended, including a subdivision modifier. You can edit those later if you'd like, uh, but it does all the repetitive recommended stuff real quick. Now, when you do an FSpy project, like you're gonna be seeing in other tutorials about FSpy, you're gonna wanna add a bunch of loop cuts in there and some specific geometry to your uh, image but after you do all that this button should uh, automate quite a bit of the process after that so it I expect it saved me time on future projects and I hope it saves you time as well thank you